What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. So guys, in today's video, we are rocking out with a strong meta team. We got ourselves a Groudon and Gevelta team that also features Life Orb, Solar Power, Charizard, and Weakness Policy, Chlorophyll, Venusaur. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, yo? Click that big red subscribe button and join the community. It really does go a long way, so shout out to all my subscribers. But if you guys have been keeping up with my Sword and Shield content, you guys know that I've been using a few off-meta teams in the past. So it's now time to rock out with a meta team and get off some good battles with a very strong team that you guys can all use because you know the rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get started here with the team preview, starting off in that top left corner with the one and only Groudon. Such a good restricted mod and great at weather control. Plus, it's a great physical attacker on top of that. It's got Drought. And stability alongside with the citrus berry to recover hp when we fall below half and then we're rocking precipice blades for stab ground move rock slide for our coverage move sword stance is set up and then last but not least we obviously have protect right next to him is going to be our first pokemon that pairs super well with Groudon, and that is going to be solar power charizard with the life orb well i should say g max charizard everybody knows the power of charizard in the sun we're going to be dynamaxing him a lot and getting off some big damage we got heat wave hurricane scorching sands and protect a great move set for a g max charizard Middle left is going to be our second Pokemon that pairs perfectly with Groudon, and that is going to be Chlorophyll Venusaur. With the weakness policy this time, I actually never use, actually I might have used Venusaur with weakness policy like once or twice, but cannot wait to use it and get rocking with them. We got the weakness policy, we got Chlorophyll to double our speed in the drought, and then we got Frenzy Plant, Sludge Bomb, Weather Ball, and Sleep Power to put opposing Pokemon to sleep. Right next to him is going to be Yvelta. The Yvelta's phenomenal in Series 12. Seriously, every time I use him, he's just been coming up clutch and just being a great Pokemon in many different situations. So I really do like this Pokemon for this series. We got Dark Aurora as its ability, and then we're rocking the Salt Vest as its item. And then we got my favorite moveset for this Pokemon of Oblivion Wing, Sucker Punch, Snarl, and Foul Play. Just look at that moveset. That moveset is just... It's gorgeous. It is mwah. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. We got HP recovery and stab move with Oblivion Wing. We have first turn priority with Sucker Punch. We have special attack drop with Snarl. And then we have Foul Play for huge damage on physical attackers. That moveset is just so good. You cannot go wrong with it. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our support in Cinnamor over here with Intimidate and the Safety Goggles. We got Fake Out for Flinches, Fire Blitz for our stab, Fire Move, Throat Chop for our stab, Dark Move. And last but not least, we're Rocket Parting Shot to pivot out and to get a, an attack or special attack drop. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be our support Meowstic with dual screens Light Clay. We got Prankster ability with Light Screen, Reflect, Yawn, and Fake Out. So we can put Pokemon to sleep, we can set up screens, and we can, uh, you know, flinch up Pokemon with Fake Out. That's pretty much what this Pokemon is here for. But there it is, guys. There's team. If you guys want to check it out for yourself, you guys already know the deal. The rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked up ladder. Look to get some wins with this phenomenal meta Groudon team. Like I said in the team preview, I've been using some off meta teams, but I really want to bring you guys a strong meta team because I know a lot of my viewers like to get some good teams to use on the master tier from me. So that's one of you guys. Here you guys go. Try out this team. This team is phenomenal. I've been using it on the rank ladder just a little bit, and I figured I'd feature it into a video because, you know, because of what I just said. You guys, you guys already get it. You guys get it, but we're going up against a Kiram White alongside a Shadow Rider Kylox team that also features Regilecki, Grim Snarl, Incineroar, and Ferrothorn. So a lot of meta Pokemon besides against like the Kiram White. But still, Kieran White is very, very strong if I had to guess it's holding that life orb. But how should we go into this one? How should we play it? I feel like Groudon could just be a solid lead. We can also go in with Charizard just for that speed boost. Or do we just go Chlorophyll Venusaur and just get rocking with that? Hmm. What is my play here? I would love to get some speed from Charizard. Some lovely speed from Charizard could be nice. So, you know, we're going to lead him. He might go with a Regilecki, which is kind of scary. Regilecki could definitely be scary. But I'm also going to bring Venusaur and Yabelta. I just feel like that's the call. I feel like that has to be our play here. I really do like it, especially because he has Shadow Rider Calyrex. You belt the Hess coming here. Just suppose to threat with that big old sucker punch. You know, you belt to just tease off on Calyrexes easily, especially if, especially if it's like a one-on-one -on -one battle. Sucker punch can come across, take it down to its focus sash, or kill it every single time. Every single time. Like, I had no problem with that. Just sucker punch, build, and get on out of my face. Because Shadow Rider Calyrex is really fast and hits like a truck, but it is a glass cannon. It is a glass cannon. When it gets hit by super effective moves, it just drops instantly. It is dead. It is dead, but let's see who this guy leads. We're just hoping Regilecki's not coming out, and of course it is. So Regilecki comes out to the field. Um, how should we play this one? How should we play this one? I'm thinking of just dropping a Blades here, and maybe protecting the Charizard, or should I still Dynamax get it first? Hmm. What's that player? I think we have to protect the Charizard. Let's go straight into a Blades here. Blades into a Protect. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. We have to protect this little... 
This little one. This is not even a dragon. I can't even call Charizard a dragon. Because he's not dragon type. This little bird. I guess we're going to have to call it a bird. Fire bird. Because there's no dragon type. But because it... But... I don't even know. I don't even know. But it is a dragon. Like, look at that thing. You saw a thing flying over your house. Would you be like, oh, honey, there's a bird outside. No, you'd be like, dude, there's a freaking dragon outside. <laughs> like, <laughs> God dang. God dang. But I am glad when they made uh, its mega evolution in the X form, it did change the dragon type. I was a fan of that. I was a fan of that. But that's hilarious how this thing is not a dragon type. But that voice should be dragon and fire. But flying and fire really works well. It really does work well. We're going to protect our lovely little Charizard. I wonder what he's going for with Reggie here. He's not protecting. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for the fake out. Oh, you son of a biscuit. What's he going for here? A wild charge. Okay, so we blocked that. Uh, we could hard swap. We could definitely hard swap. So fake out was a great play by him. Uh, What is my play? We definitely want to go for blades here. Hmm. I think we have to save our Charizard. We swap into Venus right here. And save our Charizard for Dynamax later. I'm with that all day. I'm with that all day. I kind of like that. Even though Venus is going to take a nice chunk of damage here. This could be a big blades for us. And then we could just use Venusaur's speed to kind of just control and then Dynamax Charizard later in the match. I do like that. I do like that. Okay, let's see what this guy does. He's definitely thinking. He's definitely thinking. But I'm hoping we can at least just get off this blades here. We're going to swap our Charizard here. He's going to keep Regilecki in here. He might protect them. He might protect the Regilecki. We'll see. And we're going to go right into Venusaur here. Venusaur's going to come out here and this thing's just going to Volt Switch into me. Okay, that's a, that's a fine turn. That's a fine turn, but a great swap for us. So we swap out. I wonder who he's going into from here. I could Dynamax Venusaur. I honestly could. He knows we're going for a blade, so he might swap into... Who is he going to swap into here? Maybe Ferrothorn if he has it? Who are you swapping into here? Calyrex. Okay, I'm with that all day. I'm with the Calyrex swap all day. I'm with it all day. We can put Pokemon to sleep. We can just outspeed a lot here, too. We are Chlorophyll, which is lovely. Blade's going to fly. Double connects. We hope some solid damage all around. That's some lovely damage. And Spirit Break's going to fly. The Spirit Break comes through here. That's fine. I'm not going to Dynamax this Pokemon anymore. I'm not going to Dynamax this Pokemon. Okay. Uh, do we outspeed the Calyrex? That's the real question. We might not even outspeed the Calyrex. I hope we do. We're double speed, so... Oh, yeah. We definitely should be able to outspeed Calyrex. So, we can outspeed Calyrex here. We can kind of get after this battle. Uh, drop another Blades, right? Blades definitely my call. And I really want to take out that... Uh, we just go for a Weather Ball. I really would like to take out the Calyrex. Even though I don't think Calyrex can take me out. I say we just take out this, uh, so we just take out this thing, right? Calyrex can take out my Venusaur. It's not going to be able to take out my Groudon. So it might protect here. Let's see. Yep. There it is. There's protect. So good thing I did drop a nice little sludge bomb and rotate it off onto the Grimstone slot. I'm with it all day. He's going to pop a trick. How dare you pop a trick? What are you taking? Don't take my Citrus Berry. Take my weakness policy. Take my weakness policy. Iron Ball. Okay, cool. You took my weakness policy. That's cool. That's, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. We're going to do that. We're going to say, oh, we do not take that out. That is ridiculous. But we do get a poison. We do get a poison. Hopefully, Blades can just connect, right? Hopefully, Blades can just connect. It pops his weakness policy. We just need Blades to connect here. We can say later to it. Blades gets blocked. Please connect it, Graham. Sorry. Please. Thank you. Thank you, Graham. I, I love you. I love you. Okay, so we take out him. We still have our Sucker Punchy belt in the back. Which is lovely. Which is lovely, lovely. And I'm scared about that Regilecki. I definitely am. I definitely am. We do have that Iron Ball, so we might... I don't think we're going to be able to outspeed anymore. He's going to bring out Kiram, and he's definitely going to Dynamax. So he's probably going to pick up the double kill, and we're going to have to bring out Charizard. Charizard. Lovely little Charizard. Do I drop rocks? No, I think we just dropped blades. I think we just dropped blades, and from here, if I can, I'm going to go for a Sleep Powder, but I just don't see it happening here. I don't see us landing a Sleep Powder. I just think Calyrex outspeeds us now, even with that Iron Ball. And he's just going to drop... Uh, what is that move called? His little Ghost move. Astral Barrage and just take me out. So there's a Dynamax coming out from Kiram. We still have our Dynamax. I might have to save it for my Yveltal. Yveltal might have to come out here and do work. So we shall see. We definitely should, shall see. Let's see it. Let's see what's happening here. Kiram gets the Dynamax just like we thought. And this is a solid first battle. This is a solid first battle. Solid, solid first battle in the Master tier. Alex goes for Astral Barrage. Eat that up, Venusaur. Venusaur, say that's the tastiest snack you ever had. Venusaur, I need you here. Mm, yeah, I, I knew it. I knew it was happening. Maybe Groudon can outspeed. This could be a great outspeed for us if Groudon can. If Groudon can outspeed, this could be great, but I just don't see it happening, right? Yeah, no. He goes for the Hailstorm. He's going to change up weather. He's going to take us out. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. What do I do from here? I think I have to Dynamax Charizard. I think Dynamax Charizard is the call here. And I might want to double down to this Calyrex here. 
or not Calyrex, double down into the uh, Kyrim. So I'm gonna bring out Yvelta. I'm gonna just pose that huge threat with the Sucker Punch and all that. And we know he has Protect ready to roll. So I might just wanna take him out here or double down into the Kyrim at this point. I'll bring out Charizard. I will Dynamax to Charizard. And do I Snarl? Do I Snarl? That's, that is a good question. That is a great question. But I just feel like I have to double down into the Kyrim slot here. I just feel like that's the play. He does have a tough ice move, which could do work on us, but I know I'm pretty sure we outspeed. So I can just go for a wildfire. Or do I go for a speed move here? Go for an airstream. Airstream could be great. But I feel like we have to get off this pester damage. You know, we're gonna go for a wildfire. We'll go for the wild wildfire all day here, and then we will go for a uh Hmm. I, think I might just go for a Blizzy Wing. Again, I see the Cavax protecting all day. But you know, we're going to Snarl just in case it doesn't. Because Snarl will be able to take that out. Snarl will definitely be able to take it out. But we're going to Snarl just in, just in case it doesn't protect. Just in case it doesn't protect. We can drop that Snarl, switch up the sides, go from there. Okay, I'm with it. I'm with it. And I would love to get this Wildfire damage off just to chip up some damage onto the uh, Regilecki when it does come out here to potentially take off its Focus Sash. And then we can maybe just suck a bunch of them off from there. So the Wildfire damage is really, really good for us. Really, really good for us. Let's see what happens here. Protect. Yep, there it is. Cool. Dope, dope, dope. He protects. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I'm gonna be able to drop off a huge wildfire. We know we outspeed the Kirin, which is beautiful. And I could drop an airstream next turn if I want. The wildfire damage is gonna chip off. I think he's gonna drop a hailstorm here, which could do me a little dirty, but hopefully Char my boy Charizard can just soak this one up. Okay, so we can sucker punch next turn. Which is gonna have to be our must play. We're gonna have to sucker punch into that, and we're gonna have to have Charizard eat up this shot. We're gonna have to have Charizard eat up the shot. Hailstorm's flying through here. We saw that coming all day. Go in the Charizard, please. He goes into Yvelta. Can you eat that? You have a Soul Fest. Oh, baby. I love you. I love you so much. I love you so much. So, so much. Okay. Hmm. What's the play here? Wild wildfire still has to chip around. Okay, that's great. Wildfire still has to chip around. So there's some big old wildfire damage. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. That's gonna chip there. And yo, we're looking really good here. We are looking really good here. And I cannot change up weather, which is tough. So, you know, we're just going to go into a wildfire here. Try to finish you off. And I have to pose this sucker punch here. We cannot allow Shadow Rider Calyrex to get off the turn. Their so sucker punch is going to have to poke through here. And then wildfire should be able to take that out, right? Wildfire should be able to do enough damage to take that out and bring us to a 2v1. Sucker punch comes through. So, great play by us. Reading that protect Calyrex. Get on out my face. That's a huge turn for us. That's a huge turn for us. Now, we just need this, uh, what's called, to go down here. We need this Kyrim to go down here. We need Kyrim to go down here, 100%. 100%, right? We just lost. We just lost to a fr to one HP. No way. No way we lose that. No way, dude. What a first battle, though. What a first battle. Um, I'm trying to think of it as if there's any way we can win this one. Is she going to come in here and hit us with a wild charge? Um, We just have to be able to eat up a shot. That's our only way. It's our only way. We have to we have to eat up a shot here. And hit, and, and just hit this thing with a max quake. Because my plan would be just a, like I would have two. I would sucker punch, and then maybe he would go into an e-web. Actually, he still would probably win this. It really depends, but... Wow, this would have been really, really close. I need both my Pokemon. He goes for the E-Web. And uh, that was dumb. He just gave us that win. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for giving us that win. He didn't go into a Wild Charge. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you very much. I'll take that win all day. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. All right. We definitely should have lost that one. But, yo, our opponent made a horrible play in the end there. My boy Charger comes in here and clutches it up. I don't know what our opponent was doing in the last battle, but he definitely should have wild charged in my charge. But we take those all day. I think the Pokey guys were giving us a win considering his Kyurem got a free focus as which was definitely whack. That was definitely whack. Caught me by surprise, but we're hopping into our second battle here. Going up against a Zacian and another Kyurem white team with Malwak. Uh, what is that? Gothitelle's second stage with the Evo Light. And then, uh, what is that? Umbreon and Regilecki. Okay, pretty cool team. I'm digging it. I'm definitely digging it. I feel like Incineroar has to come in here. Just to pose a threat onto that Zacian. I really do like that. But um, who should I lead and how should I go into this one? I feel like the Groudon lead is just phenomenal. Right? 
Groudon Charizard? I like Groudon Charizard here. I definitely really like Groudon Charizard. I mean, the Reg Lucky just poses that threat, man. Reg Lucky just poses that threat. But then if we have the Groudon, we pose a threat to his Reg Lucky. So I really like that. We're going to bring you about that. And then last but not least, I feel like Incineroar is an absolute must to bring in here. Yeah, I do like that. I do like that. So Venusaur, you can lay in the back in here. You can definitely lay in the back in here. He does have that Malwack, which I definitely don't see him bringing in here. But I feel like it's just there for tricking. I feel like it is just there for tricking. But if he doesn't bring Reg Lucky, I think we just Dynamax Charizard and we kind of get rolling into the battle that way. I am with it all day. I'm with it all day. Let's see. Let's see what he does here. Gotha, Ga, Gatharita. Gatharita. That's how you pronounce it. And Zassian come out here. So uh, I do not really know what Gatharita does. I'm not even going to lie, but it's kind of scaring me. It's definitely scaring me. So from here, I could just... I think I have to Dynamax, right? I think I just Dynamax. What the heck does that thing do? I could swap. I could hard swap into... Uh, into Incineroar if I really want to. I'm really thinking about doing, but Blades is just so good. I'm going to drop a Blades, and you know what? Uh, do I Quake? Do I Wildfire? I feel like he... What's it called? I feel like we have to take speed. So, you know what? I'm going to go for an Airstream over in the Gotharita. But Zassian might protect here. Zassian could definitely protect here. So, Dynamax coming out from the Charizard. We're going to start taking some speed. I'm thinking of Swords Dancing. I was thinking of just reading the... Uh, reading the Protect on the Zassian. And then just Swords Dancing. But I was just like, if he doesn't protect, we have to at least pose a threat onto him. So, Blades is a good way. Then we can go for the speed boost. We don't want to overcommit to the, to the read, you know? Unless we have to. So, he's going to pop out. And Behemoth Blade's going to fly here. So, that's going to go in the Groudon. Groudon? Can you eat that up, Groudon? You eat that up, Groudon? Eat that up, buddy. I love you. That's a beautiful eat up. Zassian might be dead here soon. Might be dead. We have the Citrus Berry. We're rocking. We're going to start taking speed from him. With it all day. I wonder what that Gotharita's going for. Maybe a Trick Room. Definitely scaring me. Airstream's going to fly through here. Uh, eat. Send it. Bill. And yeah, you dead. Never mind. Gotharita's doing absolutely nothing. Get it on out my face. We do not want it here. We do not want it here. So Charizard is bulked up. Well, not bulked up. He's speed bulked up. And he's in the sun. Cannot go wrong with it. He doesn't need attack boost or anything with the sun. Blades miss. What you mean? What you mean? What do you mean? I don't understand. I, I just don't understand. We miss our blades. That's rough. He's going to bring out Kirim. I'm cool with that. He's going to bring out Kirim. And I, I'm i almost positive he's going to protect that ass. I'm almost positive he protects that ass. I am just almost positive he protects that ass. Dynamax. Kirim. I'm almost positive on that. So, you know, I'm just going to wildfire across here. I'm almost positive he protects that Zassian. Almost positive. I'm like 96.7543% sure that he protects his Zassian. That's a high chance. That's a high, high chance. So, you know, I'm going to Dynamax and go into the... Uh, I'm going to stay my Dynamax. I'm going to use my Dynamax move into the uh, Kyurem. And I'm just going to pose the threat with the Blades. Because Groudon definitely outspeeds Kyurem. I don't know if it outspeeds Zassian plus one. Definitely gonna be cutting close, but that plus one was just huge for us. Definitely huge for us. He just cancels battle, yo. Mwah. We love those. We love making people cancel battles. Your boy is on another tear in Sword and Shield ranked double battles. We are sitting at 2-0, and, and we're looking for another perfect record with this amazing team. We're going up against a Zassian and Yvelta team, alongside Storm Drain, Gaston, Regilecki, Landorus, and Grimson. Definitely a pretty strong team. Definitely a strong team high up in this master tier. But I can't believe we made our opponent quit that quick. But it kind of makes sense. He was just like, okay, he has two Pokemon that poses huge threats. He's going to outspeed me and just dominate. The guy was just like, nah, I'm done. I'm not wasting my time. I'm not playing that. But, yeah, we take those wins all day. We definitely take those wins all day. But who should we go into this one? How should we play? I feel like he's definitely not going to bring Storm Drain Gastron at all. I um, mean, might bring Regilecki as a lead. And Regilecki could be scary. Making me want to lead Venusaur a little bit. I just really like Venusaur with that speed. I really do. So, you know, I'm going to go Groudon. I'm going to go Venusaur. Definitely want to bring Yvelta because he's just super good. And we do we want to bring Meowstic here? Actually, we could go like this. We could do this. Actually, we could do this. I kind of think this. And then go in the Groudon and Yvelta. I just want to use Meowstic. I feel like we don't see Meowstic too often. So I feel like maybe I can just like fake out, put a Pokemon to sleep. Something along those lines. And then, you know, swapping Groudon on Dynamax. Or just set up screens to go from there. We have options here, ladies and gentlemen. We have options. Or I probably should let him with the Charizard. Probably could have been a little bit better with the Charizard lead. 
But we've been whipping with Charizard, so I just feel like Venusaur is going to come in here. You guys know I like to have fun in my third and final mouse. I definitely like to have fun here. He's going to go Reg Lucky alongside with Yveltal. And, uh, what do I do? What's my play here? What is my play here? I think we just double down Yveltal. Read Reg Lucky, uh, you know. I think we just read Reg Lucky. Doing his, what's it called? Doing his little protection. I'm with that, because I can't really have Yvelta out here posing that threat, and of course he's going to Dynamax your... Please Dynamax your Regilecki! Please! Please, this could definitely do me dirty. He Dynamaxes, please be Regilecki. Please. Okay, cool. He Dynamaxes your Regilecki, so... Not bad for us, not bad for us. He's going to Dynamax your Reggie. Um... Kind of fine with this. I'm definitely kind of fine with this. We might have to Dynamax your Yvelta here. Or a Groudon is kind of sounding nice here. Definitely sound nice. Fake Out's going to poke here. Milk. And Reggie, as long as he's uh, he's gonna rock a Max Lightning into the Alstick, that's fine. That's fine. And we eat up that all day. And we're gonna be able to put Yavel to sleep. Hopefully, this lands. This could be solid. Oh, no. Forgot about the terrain switch. Okay, Venusaur's dead. Never mind. I lied. Venusaur's dead. Venusaur is dead. Actually, he's not dead. Oh, did he just avoid it? Wait. Wait a minute. I, I forget what Electric Terrain does. Pokemon on the ground. Yeah, so we could have put him to sleep. Are you kidding me? Wow, that's rough. That is rough. We're going to set up our late screen, though. And then we're just going to go into a... Uh, maybe a Frenzy Plant. Weather Ball. There's no weather on the field. Uh, ch ch Frenzy Plant could be your call. Did you know he's going to take us out here with like a Bully Bean Wing? So, yeah. We're going to go for a Frenzy Plant. We're going straight for his Frenzy Plant. Late screen popping out here. Uh, hey. Let's just get off some damage. We'll save our Dynamax for out on it. Or, uh, you know, that's rough miss. That's a rough miss. Max Lightning's going to poke out here. That's going to take me out. That's fine. That's fine. And maybe we can eat up this Oblivion Wing. Just maybe. Probably not, though. Probably not, right? Oblivion Wing popping. Yeah. God dang, dude. That Pokemon should be asleep. That Pokemon should be asleep. And good thing we do are able to eat that up. So we can get off some damage on the Reggie. That's solid. But we are going to miss next turn because, you know, Frenzy Plant. It, 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 it's that move. Oh, and weakness policy poke. This could get some big damage, yo. Get him out of here. Do him dirty, dude. Do him dirty here with this frenzy plant. Do him dirty with this frenzy plant. Frenzy plant pokes out here. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Big old damage poke in there. Big old damage. Okay, so from here, I can definitely poke Yvelta and just go into sucker punches. Probably my play, right? I like it. We're going to save our Dynamax for Groudon. But I can't believe we missed that god dang sleep powder. That sleep powder would have been so nice because then I could have swapped me out stick into, uh, Groudon, Dynamax my Venusaur, and just went off from there. Just went off from there. But yeah, we're going to have to go into, not a foul play, a uh, Sucker Punch over on the Reggie, just in case he wants to attack again, and Venusaur's out for this turn, because, you know, Friends Plant. Friends Plant just does that. Sucker Punch comes through, uh, later. We take you out, cool. Hopefully he'll Blade Wing again. I really don't want my Venusaur here anymore. I'm ready to Dynamax and roll, roll after this battle. I'm ready to Dynamax and roll after this battle. Go ahead, take me out. Oblivion Wing, yes sir, take out Venusaur, please. Please. Okay, cool. Venusaur, get on out of here. We do not need you anymore. He did some work. And now we're going to bring out Groudon. We're going to Dynamax. And we're going to get rolling from here. We're going to get rolling. He has no more Dynamax. We start off in a little hole after missing our sleep pattern. But then after that, not bad. We have a light screen set up, which is, which is wonderful. That is wonderful. We have Sucker Punches ready to fly. We have Dynamax ready for a Groudon. We still have Citrus Berry on a Groudon. And he's going to throw out Zassy. Zassy comes out. That's scary. That's definitely scary. I could guard here in foul play. What's my player? I'm honestly might protect and Dynamax Shibelto. Now that this thing's on the field, I'm not even gonna lie, he's going for Behemoth Blade into my ground also. So in this case, I have to Dynamax you. And I'm gonna go for an airstream and I'm just gonna protect this guy. It's a must. It's a must here. Because if I Dynamax Groudon and allow him to get off that Behemoth Blade, we're just gonna get slapped on. We're just gonna get slapped on. So he withdraws and he's gonna go in the hill. Landon's gonna come out here for Intimidate. That's fine. That's fine. Landon's gonna come out here for Intimidate. And Yveltha's gonna get the Dynamax. That's fine. That's fine. That is fine. We, ha we have to Dynamax Yveltha. It's, it's, it's a must. Even though it doesn't do that much damage. It's it's at that point where it's just like, okay, this is this is an absolute must. Because if I can grant some speed for my Groudon, we can eventually outspeed that Zacian and, you know, have a shot at winning this battle. Have a huge shot at winning this battle. So let's see. We're going to Dynamax this thing. We're reading the blades coming out into... Uh, we're reading the blade coming in the ground on here. It's, it's a must, right? It's a must. You got to think I was Dynamaxing him. 
Wait, oh no way. No way! This guy just hard read me like that? Did he just hard read me like that? We got off some big damage. I'm with it. This one's gonna be close. Definitely gonna be close. Uh, what's my play here? What is my play? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Special defense drop. Uh, I'm just gonna have to airstream him and, you know, go for blades here. Wow. What a read by him. So that's speed. We're gonna go for his airstream. We're gonna see how much damage his blades can do. We are minus one on the blades, but I'm hoping we can connect and get off some big, big damage. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. This one's gonna be kind of close here. Blades, come on, yo. Do me good. Do me good here, Blades. Blades fly through it. Yo, you Dude, that minus one. Do me dirty. He goes for another play rough. That's gonna take me out. We do have speed. We do have speed right now. We have speed all over the place. Now the real question is, does Zassian protect you? I think that's that's the that's the real question, right? That's definitely the real question. What a play by him to actually read my uh ground on protecting. Him going straight into a play. Wow, what a call by him. I'll give it to him all day. I'll give it to him all day. He goes in the Veltal. Uh I think we have to read the Zassian protecting you, right? And just go into rock slide. Even though it's not very effective, it might still be able to take it out, but I just think it might protect. Like, it's about time this thing protects. It's about time this thing protects. There it is. There it is, yo. Protect comes out. Hold up, yo. Gene's got a shot here. Gene's has a shot here. Rock slide's gonna poke. He's gonna get blocked. He needs to land on Shivalto. We need to land here. Oh my lord, what you mean? What you mean? I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay, our only hope here is to land rock slides now. Our only hope here is to land rock slides and hope flinches or maybe take out Zassian here. That is so whack. Oh my, oh my lord. Oh my lord. What, what is going on here? What, what is going on here? Yo, we had a real shot at this battle. We had a real shot at this battle. A real shot at this battle. And we missed two rock slides? We make a great protect read and we missed two rock slides to lose the match? Come on, yo. Come on. What an awful way to lose that third and final battle. I can't believe RNG did us dirty like that. It definitely did us dirty. It would have been really, really close. Our opponent still had a shot at winning it, considering we were minus one. But I would at least like to see what would have happened if maybe one or both of them would have at least landed on the rock slide. That's just crazy, but still a solid battle. Dominated with this team, grabbed ourselves a 2-1 record, and made our second opponent quit, which is absolutely amazing. If you guys want to try out this team, you guys already know the deal. Run the code is at the bottom of the screen, and I highly recommend trying out this team to push high tier in Master Gym. It works super, super well, and it has a bunch of strong heavy meta Pokemon on it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.